Hey everybody, it's Tony. And I said. With Bearded Dog Vintage. We thought that we would show you our booth today and maybe do <laughs> do um, a little shopping here or do a little shopping video at the mall where we have our booth at Generations Mall at 11th and Yale in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I hope you come and check it out. And we're going to show you the cool stuff we have. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are walking up to the booth. We have these beautiful Tell City rocking chairs that we have available. They are currently listed at $150 for the pair, $100 each if you buy them individually. And um, they are currently 25% off through the end of the month, and after that, they'll be regular price. So I thought this little doodad would move a lot quicker than it, it has. So we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma, as you know. And the university here is Tulsa University. And we have a someone's grandma made them quite the cool throw, TU throw. I figured by now some student would have come grabbed it up by now. It is currently listed at $25. This is a cool item that... Um, we have for sale um, and this is actually uh, it's an original piece of art it's hand um, hand painted Tony it is um, the cover of a western novel from the 70s called short grass and this was the cover art for that uh, paperback and uh, we currently have it listed for 150 um, it's pretty cool it took me a while to track down where who it was and what it was, but all the information's on the back, so it's a piece of Western Americana. I won't spend a lot of time in the booth, but I did want to show you my one of my favorites. I love red, of course, and we have an electric walk from the 70s. When I first saw it, I grabbed it, I thought it was so unique, and now I've seen like three or four of them, so we still have it, but it can be yours for a price. And then... There's our banner, Bearded Dog Vintage. Some pottery, so we have some uh, Fiesta mugs. We have a duck, it, it's actually a punch bowl. Uh, it's got its own little ladle and everything. Tons of Frank Elma, lots of cups. I just kind of rearranged everything. We had a few sales throughout the week, hopefully I'll have to come back Sunday and do a lot more, but check out this cow cookie jar. And the cow jumped over the moon. Just take us a, a quick tour of um, the mall here. Uh, it's kind of a mix. Some booths are really well appointed. Here's some vintage, well, it doesn't look too vintage, Coca-Cola. Um, but it's a mix of stuff. Some of it's well appointed and some of it is kind of catch as catch can. Um, cool cars. Jason's over here looking at glass. He's, he's shopping. You can see him way down there. Now this is more my style. I love these owls. They are $40 for the, for the set. Very... Very retro. Love those bad boys. And you got your Jimmy Choo's. Jason was looking at this a little bit earlier. It's Slovakia wear, something along those lines. It's beautiful. We thought it might be Italian, but it is not. A dirty little secret. Tony loves salt and chef salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> salt and pepper shakers. I guess I'm having trouble getting my mouth around my words today. What's up with that? Oh, look at this cool thing. Uh, I guess it's like a shaker or potpourri holder. Two whole dollars. He sure is cute. It's crazy the things that you see that like draw your attention. This is such a basic mug, but it's the one that I grew up with. So, every time I see him, I'm like, oh, looky there. I love, love, love this booth. 
Here we have some Murano hand-blown glass, of course, 5977. Very nicely appointed. Ooh, look at the brass leaves. Love those. What else? What else? What else? Ooh, look here. It's pretty. Jason has found the painted pony. Let the spinning wheel turn. It's only $110. Just? That's, I think that's, I think it's well worth it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. We, uh, my uncle does stained glass and he taught us and we were doing some, but we're nowhere near as good as this. This is beautiful. What you got? And this for three dollars on one of the boots. It's a little brass uh, towel holder. It's a woman in a bathtub. Mm -hmm. I thought it was worth three dollars. Ooh, she better cover up all her jiggly bits. And he puts it back. <laughs> Here we go. Here's another nice booth. Some nice glass. We love this piece right here. Oh yeah, we've looked at that several times. Ernesto. Eventually it may have to come home with us and sit on my countertop. What you got? A Nesco. A little a Nesco I just thought the, the front of it was really pretty. That slip. I think that's what that is. It's a... Uh, <laughs> uh, the struggle bus. $18. $18. Oh, that is nice. And a woman in her duck. The one thing I was coming over this way to see was just a little further down. Well, let's go check it out. Uh, I don't know if I've seen them before, if I hadn't paid attention. Are they plastic or glass? Oh. <laughs> they are. They feel like they're heavy. Looking at the frosted glass statuary. I guess it's not statuary, but you know what I mean? Twenty dollars. Hmm. No signature. Not that I see. You thought you found a little leak. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it, but I, I I figured it wasn't. But interesting. No name. Hmm. See a name? It says the. Juliana collection. Oh. Wow. Well, she's quite limber. Wow. Oh, we love this. Oh, wow. That's a nice lamp. Vintage, Vincent True Modern Chartreuse lamp. It's priced at 140 I uh, could use with a better shade, I think. But... Here's one. Haha. <laughs> This is one of my favorite booths here. I just love the dishware, frosted with the pink, Ninark pink drip glaze bowl, priced at $40 each. Gorgeous. Boy, if someone asked me once if I was a hoarder and I told them no, but I totally could be. The problem would be is that I'd want to look at it all and you only have so much space. Nice Weller. Good collection here. We saw <clears throat> someone online tell us that we should never pass up a globe. But I don't know. Well, here we are again. That was fun. That was pretty exciting. So that was our first booth at Generations Antique Mall. That's at 11th and Yale in Tulsa, Oklahoma. If you're in the vicinity, swing by and check us out. Um, that's our first booth. We're looking at a second booth out in Pryor, Oklahoma, hopefully soon. This booth is starting to pick up um, steadily. So it's a lot more work than I thought a booth might be, but hey, I'm here for it. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for checking out our videos. Share them widely.
with your friends and your enemies. <laughs> we are uh, and like and subscribe. We're we're slowly slowly gaining momentum. One of our videos got up to like four point five thousand views or something like that. And we slowly got some subscribers off of that, which was really nice. It was like a couple a week or something. So we are currently sitting at, gosh, I forgot. I, I want to say 81. Yeah, 81 subscribers. And it, which is the year I graduated high school. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, it's it's it's, it's starting. It's starting to pick up. So thank you all for helping us with that. And please keep on continuing to like and share. Thank you, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.